Hello students, welcome to Legacy IS Academy. In today's video, we are going to discuss about a recent topic which was in news that is the North Star. So we are going to discuss in details what is the North Star and how significant it is as far as the navigation in the oceans or across the earth is concerned. But before that, let us try to understand that why this particular term was recently in news. So Vice President of India and also the Chairman of Raj Sabha, Mr. Jagdeep Dhankar had recently given a statement where he has referred parliament as the North Star of the democracy and also he suggested all the parliamentarians that need to work in accordance with the rules. Now this statement of the Vice President has came amid the demand that the opposition has raised in the house of, in the parliament house for discussions surrounding the row that has recently engulfed the Adani group one of the most uh, coveted company of India. Interestingly, if you look at that, not only the Vice President, but recently Chief Justice of India D.Y. Chandrachur had also called the basic structure doctrine of the Constitution of India as a North Star because this basic structure doctrine gives judiciary a certain direction and they also help it to also help them in interpretation and implementations of the constitutional provisions when the path ahead is convoluted or path ahead is kind of confusing. So what does this term basically means as per the recent statement given by these two eminent personalities? So as far as the statement given by the Vice President of India is concerned, he suggested that Parliament is a North Star because it guides the democratic functioning of a country and democratic functioning of a country is the one that dictates the direction a democracy takes. On the other hand, if you look at the statement given by the Chief Justice of India, he said this statement in the context of a certain wariness that we can see toward majoritarianism today in our country and the injustice that can be carried out in the name of the people. So to ensure that such things do not happen, he has given the statement that basic structure doctrines should be considered as a pole star or as a north star of India and everyone should adhere to the principles enshrined in our constitution. So let us try to understand now what is the North Star. So North Star, it is also known by common name of Pole Star or Polaris. It is a very, very bright star. Almost we can say if you compare with the sun, it is 2500 times more luminous than the sun. And as you look from the given map, as you can see that North Pole, we have this is the North Pole of our Earth. And just in a straight line to the North Pole of the Earth, in the sky, we can see the Polaris or Pole Star. So basically what we can say that as far as its location or orientation the space is concerned, it is placed less than one degree away from the north celestial pole. That is where you can say that it is almost in straight line of the north pole of India. As far as this star is concerned, as you know, most of the stars around the uh, in, in outer space are part of some constellation. So similarly, Polaris or Polar Star is a part of constellation that is called as Ursa Minor. And as far as the distance of this star from the earth is concerned, it comes somewhere to be about 323 light years. What does this mean? It means that for the light to come from pole star to the earth, light that suppose the light that has been uh, that has just uh, emanated right now from the pole star, it will take 323 years for it to reach the earth. Interestingly, we can also understand that suppose due to certain reasons, if pole the star vanishes today or pole star destroys today, we will not be able to know this event has happened till 323 years. So basically when you are looking at pole star, you are looking at 323 years past, in the past. Now what is the role that pole star has played in the navigation across the world? So first of all as we can know and as we have just discussed that this star lies in a direct line with the earth's rotational axis above the North Pole and that is why it stands almost motionless in the night sky. That means the entire constellation, entire sky seems to be changing as night passes to day and a day passes to night but it is a pole star that always remains fixed at the same position and that is why it is due to this region. It is considered as an excellent fixed point for the navigators and by looking at the star they can draw measurements for the celestial navigation. In simple words, we can also say that the elevation of star above the horizon gives the approximate latitude of the observer in the northern hemisphere. And if someone is watching to the watching the pole star from the northern hemisphere, one can always tell that which is which direction. For example, since pole star is always oriented toward north, 
from north by extension you can also understand where is south where is east and where is the west so if you look at more in detail at this map in diagram you can see that we have this earth earth is continuously rotating and its axis also keeps on rotating and right now its axis is currently oriented toward the pole star and this as you can see is the earth's position earth's north pole and there somewhere we'll have the polaris star now what about the southern hemisphere so unfortunately what we can say that once you cross the equator and move from north to south hemisphere north star will be lost over the horizon what does it mean it means that you will not be able to see north star anymore in the sky because you are now in the southern hemisphere and thus as far as the southern hemisphere is concerned north star do not have any significant useful navigational purposes so automatically the question comes in our mind that when was the first time north star was used for the navigation purposes so as far as the recorded history is concerned it is believed that somewhere between 85 to 165 bc that was a time when ptolemy who was a roman mathematician and astronomer lived he was the one who first of all tried to understand the location of pole star and tried to use this as a navigational tool later on in year 1492 when christopher columbus he went on his first transatlantic voyage he also changed the bearing shifted the bearings of his ship by looking at the pole star and taking directions and guidance from the fixed pole star in the sky however as time passed more and more people came to know about the pole star and thus we have a wave of colonization that began in what we can say in the early 17th century when a lot of european colonizers from spain from italy from france from england they started to move to the new world to set for the exotic locations such as india west indies uh, we have uh, north america and during this time the pole star become a very very useful navigational aid for these sailors who has to traverse a vast stretches of ocean to reach and find the new lands now the question comes that pole star as you have seen in the beginning of the video has been used as a metaphor by vice president of india as well as chief justice of india and not only that before that also many eminent personalities across the world have been continuously using this term as a metaphor so where can we trace the origin of this metaphor of the pole star so as far as the understanding goes today it is the william shakespeare who has written a very famous play julius caesar in year 1599 ad and it was during this writing of this play julius caesar just before his assassination has given a statement and in this statement he has compared himself to the pole star and that is where we can trace the origin of this metaphor to give you the exact statement that julius caesar had made he said that i could be well moved if i were as you if i could pray to move prayers would move me but i am constant as the northern star that means what he is trying to say that as the northern star do not change its position as the northern star is always fixed in the sky similarly julius caesar is also fixed he is constant he cannot change he cannot change his emotions he cannot change his overall uh, his uh, his status in the roman empire so automatically the question comes now to our mind that will pole star always remain fixed will it ever change with respect to the earth or earth stream of reference or earth pole so the answer is obviously yes and the reason is very very simple because as we have discussed in the beginning of the video currently the pole star is directly in line almost with the north pole of the earth and north pole of the earth is the place from where the earth's rotation axis is passing that means this blue line that you are seeing in this particular uh, particular diagram is the axis of the earth and earth rotates on its axis like this but at the same time we also know that earth's rotation axis itself is not fixed earth's rotation axis is also rotating in a circle as you can see from today and as the earth's rotation axis is rotating in a circle and this is phenomena is what we termed as axial precession so obviously the northern celestial pole will also change over time as far as the earth's reference from the earth's pole is concerned for example it is believed that currently polaris is in direct line with north pole but somewhere after 14 in the 14000 ad rather than polaris being the pole star it will be the another star vega and the earth's axis will shift somewhere to this position so polaris will no longer at that time will be the pole star it will be rather a vega which will be the northern pole star and thus by the end of 21st century also because earth's rotation axis is continuously moving the celestial pole will move away from the polaris somewhere in this place as you can see the rotation will happen in this manner 
and Polaris and thus humans will need to identify a new northern star, maybe some star that we can find here, 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 and here. But in 14,000 AD, obviously, we'll have Vega where the Earth's rotation axis will finally stop. So that is all about this particular video. I hope you understood about the concept of North Star and the metaphor related to it. If you like the video, please hit the like button, share it with your fellow aspirants as well as subscribe to our channel for more such content. Thank you very much.